This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect a Sinclair QL to a TV or monitor via the HDMI input. To do this you'll need my RGB SCART lead and this low cost SCART to HDMI video converter. This is a generic unbranded model but uh, branded models are available but basically inside they're all the same. Okay, make sure the QL and the TV are switched off, or the monitor in this case. We'll connect the uh, computer up first. Connect the DIN plug end of the SCART lead into the RGB output on the QL. Then connect the power to the, Q to the QL. I'm also uh, going to just connect this uh, QLV drive up as well. Um, this basically just lets me load a program quickly. It emulates uh, a micro drive but with storage on SD card. And that plugs into the micro drive socket on the left hand side and get it in. There we go. Right, next uh, connect the SCART plug end of the SCART lead to the SCART input on the video converter. Next connect one end of a HDMI video cable to the video at uh, the HDMI input on your monitor. The other end of the cable, mine's already connected, you've probably gathered that. Uh, the other end of the cable connect to the HDMI output on the monitor, on the video converter. Well. Next, connect the power to the video converter, which is next to the uh, SCART socket. Okay. Next, we need to uh, switch the monitor on and select the HDMI input. in a little bit. The HDMI inputs just selected on the front on this monitor. Next switch the uh, video converter on and when you do that you'll see the, uh, the power light come on. After a few seconds you should see a status box appear on the uh, bottom left there. That's great, it's done that. Um, it's also selected the 4-3 um, aspect ratio. Uh, it will work in widescreen but um, all retro computers output a 4-3 aspect ratio picture so you might want to select that on your monitor if you can. This is um, a TV broadcast monitor so you can select all those things on a PC monitor or whatever you probably can't. Uh, right so we're okay we've got that. We've got the SCART input selected. If yours didn't say SCART input you need to select the, uh, just press the SCART HD button and that basically swaps with doing HDMI and SCART input. So we want the SCART, that's right. So next we need to switch the QL on and we get a picture. The status box will disappear automatically after a few seconds. The, um, the QL when it's connected via HDMI you can use both the F1 monitor or the F2 TV modes. Um, F1 will give you a full picture and you won't lose any characters on the left hand side. If you're connecting the QL via SCART lead direct to the SCART input on a TV and you select F1 mode you will lose a few characters on the left hand side. So I'm going to press F1 and we'll put it in monitor mode and I'm just going to load the uh, program from the V drive so I need to I'll run MDV3 oops 3 underscore boot and that should load the toolkit up from the V drive which it has done. Now insert the SD card and I'm going to load up Abacus which I've already loaded into a micro drive slot there. So to do that I'm just going to do EXEC space MDV3 underscore 
abacus. That little beep came from the V drive and hopefully uh, that will now load up abacus from the V drive. It takes a few seconds and that another beep, I think that's almost ready now then. Looks like it any second now. There we go. And as you can see, you get a, a nice, clear, vivid uh, coloured picture. Uh, nice and steady. And you don't lose anything on the left-hand side. It will display the whole format in F1 mode. Right, well, that's almost it. Just a little bit of information about video converters. The video converters, that it's not just as simple as buying any video converter. They've got to be compatible with the IGB 15 kilohertz signals that all retro computers output. Most video converters aren't. Um, so click the links below the video to uh, read my document on SCART to HDMI conversion. Uh, it'll give you a lot more information, and, and particularly the advanced ones, converters that are available. Uh, this video lead is also compatible with the OSSC open source scan converter and the let me just zoom in a bit on that. And the RetroTINK 5x SCART and 2x SCART. These are professional, advanced uh, and more expensive video converters designed specifically for retro computers and games consoles. So if you've got lots of them and you need to change the settings to get the best picture and you want the best quality picture, those are highly recommended. This is the RetroTINK 5x. So I'll just zoom that back out a bit. That's the 5 times SCART. That's got HDMI out and it's got component video in, composite video in, S video in, RGB SCART and also composite video SCART. The Retro Tink 2 times SCART is a small, highly advanced simple plug and play video converter. You've got SCART in, HDMI out, no settings uh, and gives a superb picture. Great for those who don't need to change any of the settings and you just want a simple plug and play with a high quality output. And last but not least is the OSSC, the Open Source Scan Converter, which is my favourite of the lot. Uh, this is version 1.7 which has this moulded, uh, superb moulded case. This has got VGA in, component video in, an RGB SCART in, but not con composite video SCART, and no composite video, although you can have a, an extra interface that you can plug into that, and HDMI out. Well, for more information, I think that's about it now. If you click the links below the video in YouTube, you'll see links to the video converters, troubleshooting guides, and the SCART lead, etc. Well, that's about it from me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you find this video useful.